people dancing, praising God, and I think to myself, what a wonderful church. Hallelujah. You can do better for the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 You are not excited. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Before, before, yeah, let's pray over our offering. Father, we thank you. These are the offerings that your children have brought to your throne. Blessed, sanctified for your work. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Right. Before I invite the Reverend to come, I would like to invite our sister Fidelia to come and give us a song. So please put your hands together and welcome her. Put your hands together and encourage her. Encourage her.
in sin and never pine so he appeared and the soul fell this world a thrill of hope the weary world rejoices for yonder brave a new and glorious more fall on your knees oh hear the angel voice says oh night When Christ was born, oh, divine, oh, night, oh, night, divine. Oh, oh, holy night. Stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and narrow pine till he appeared and the soul fell this word. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices for yonder break, a new and glorious morn. up and just say, Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Somebody lift your voice up and just bless the name of the Lord. We give you we praise, give you praise Lord. Lord. We give you praise, 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 Lord. Lord. Yes, Lord. We honor you. So lift your voice up. Yes, just give him some praise, yes, Lord. Lord. We give, we give you praise. praise. Bless the we name of the Lord. Praise. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praise. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. We, we give you honor. We give you honor. Thank you, we Lord. give you honor. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh, oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before. Oh my soul. Worship. Let's continue. 
Amen. Just bless him again. Just bless him again. Somebody lift your voice up. Don't be a spectator. Be a participant. Just glorify the name of the Lord. He has been good to us. He's kept us through this year from January till now. He has preserved our lives and helped us and brought us this far. His name is Emmanuel. God is with us. He has been yes, on our side, and strong and mighty. We give you praise, Lord, from the depths of our hearts, from the depths of our being, God. We lift up our song of praise and adoration. Oh, my Father, we can praise you forever. As a songwriter, I could sing of your praises forever. Yes, Lord, we can sing of your praises forever and ever. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah be unto your name. Glory be unto your wonderful name. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Please be seated in the house of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, you can sing of his praises forever. As the songwriter Sonic said, I can sing of his praises. I can sing of his praises forever and ever. Amen. But because we have to close today, we have to close and let you go home. But so come on, come tomorrow. Let's continue with our gratitude, songs of gratitude and praise unto God. And on um, 31st December, we call it the Chalak Night. We're crossing over in power. Yeah, next week during the morning, come. And then come in the evening when we are going to cross over into 2024. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God is good and God is great. Amen. Father, we thank you and we give you praise. We bless your holy name. And we honor you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Just like that, 2023 is gone. And just like that, 2024 is coming. But what it means is that we are grateful to God for all that he has done for us. For all that he has been to us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And so here we are on the eve of another Christmas. It's unbelievable. Amen. But it's, we're here. Amen. Amen. Our memory verse we have for this today and this week says that Isaiah chapter 9 and verse number 6 that for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Amen. And this is the greatest gift God can give to us, and we are thankful for his gift for us. Amen. The Bible says, the commonest verse that some of you, everyone should know, John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 17, For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And for this, we are grateful. For this, we are thankful. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Because if God did not send his son into the world, we are all doomed going to hell. Thus, but by his mercy, he has brought us this far. Amen. Hallelujah. We give him praise and we give him thanks. Amen. Before I continue, I want everybody to bring a Bible to church every Sunday. All right? This is not um, the strip to watch a show. We are here to look at things. The Bible says we have to search the scriptures. Amen. And the Bible says they are so cheap. If you think you're, this is one Mickey D, this is eight dollars. Is, is that what is number one? Is number one? Number one is how much? Eight dollars. Yeah. If you buy fries, you buy the beggar, you buy the drink, it will buy you one, one of these Bibles. This is um, seven ninety nine, and it's very valuable. Okay. Every Christian must have a Bible. If you say you have one on the tablet, when you are coming, please let me see that you're on the tablet and not on the phone watching something, something, something. Amen. Everybody here, the Bible says, man shall not, man shall live, God, only by the words that come from the Lord, amen. Not by, the, not by bread, amen. It's from the book of um, Deuteronomy, it's quoted there, and the devil also tempted Jesus, amen. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So I want everybody here to have a Bible, to read a Bible, and to believe the Bible, Amen. Can we do that for God? For yourself, not for God, for yourself. Amen. All right. So we're going to share a few things and we're going to be going home. Amen. So Merry Christmas in advance. We are already in Merry Christmas mood. Today is just the beginning. Tomorrow we continue and then we are flying. Amen. And then we move into 2024 with power. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Amen. I'm just going to conclude. This year was our year of thanksgiving. We are, we are still in thanksgiving. Amen. And we are just going to continue thanking God as we close in the year. Somebody say amen. amen. Okay. So just the main verse that we had for our thanksgiving thing is called uh, Colossians chapter 3 verse 15. Which says that, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts to the which also ye are called in one body and be ye thankful. Amen. Hallelujah. And in the book that we are preaching from, which is our sermonets from our prophet, one, one first chapter says, be ye thankful from this verse. Another chapter says, those who do not give thanks. We are not going to all that. Maybe another time we'll come there. Then there's one about another chapter three, which says, those who repay good with evil. And then number four says, those who are thankful. Amen. Amen. So just dealing with a few points here today, and then next week we'll conclude um, we're talking about be ye thankful. Amen. We talked about that already. Amen. So, the power of being thankful. A few points there, and then we'll be closing. Amen. We learned last week that you should say thanks as a constant part of your prayer. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Every prayer you pray must include thanksgiving. Amen. And I, tr- I really like having more of that and less of asking. Yeah. Be thankful. Be thankful to God. I mean, all that we do when we go to God most times is just agenda. Give me one. Give me two. Give me three. Give me four. And sometimes we forget to thank him. And when he does it, we forget to thank him. But just be, make sure your prayer is laced with a lot of thanksgiving. If you go and look at the prayer of Moses, and you, know, you see that there's a lot of thanksgiving, confession of sins and thanksgiving. The prayer of Dan, um, Daniel. Thanksgiving, confession of sins and thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. So, let your life be full of thanksgiving. Amen. Number two, be thankful as an attitude of your life. The scripture we left, we read, be ye thankful. Amen. Your life which should be a thankful heart, a thankful life. Amen. Hallelujah. Everything about you should be just grateful. That's what people do. Not just ungrateful. You can, you can give them your heart and let them walk on it. They will still be ungrateful to you. But that's not what God wants. Say, the scripture already says, and be ye thankful. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, there are, some people have led also to say thank you because it's a part of the culture. If you don't say thank you, there's something wrong with you. You know, in a place where I come from, a place where I, I went to school, when they're even going to insult you, they will even add please to it. They'll say, please, you're a fool. But the way they will start it, You'll be very, shop- very surprised. You think that something good is going to come out, but nothing good is coming out. And one day, somebody did something to me. I couldn't eat for three days. The way the person came, approached the thing, I remember when we were in our other church, the person came, said, Pastor, I want to tell you something. And even knelt down. So I was like, oh, you don't have to kneel down. When she knelt down, the insult she gave to me, I will never forget it. Right in church, on the other side. For three days, I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I was very shocked. The person was oh, wait, die this. I was like, oh, no, 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 what are you doing? Get, get, get up. And then she went down on the knees, and was on the knees, she blasted me. In front of everybody, insulted me, right in the church. I, I was so shocked, because I, I didn't know what I'd done to the person. All I'd done to the person was a lot of good. And by the way, I, I thought about this before I came to church tonight. The years, right, okay? If anything I've said for God, which is in the Bible, I don't apologize for. But in case by chance I have stepped on your toe, please forgive me the year sending. All right? Oh, you don't like what I'm saying? Yeah, I've said, I've said what I have to say. But if it's about the Bible and the Bible truth, I have no apologies. But in case you were rubbed off negatively anyway by me the whole year, please forgive me. Okay? Because we are, the Bible says, what? Offend, what, what the Bible say? We all offend. Yeah. So just in case, please. All right? Okay, I say, huh, it's about time you apologized. I'm, I'm just obeying God, okay? I'm just obeying God. You to obey God some. You to go and apologize to somebody and tell him that if you have offended you. I tell your neighbor, if you have offended you, please forgive me. Uh-huh, just in case. Uh, just in case. Just, you may never know. Tell him, tell him, tell him, please, I beg you. The year is ending. I have to finish, I have to, I have to finish my sermon. Please, turn to your neighbor and say, I beg you, just in case I've offended you. Please forgive my sins for this year. Uh, you may never know. You may never know. You may never know. 
You may never know. You may, you may never know. And be, eh? you may never know. Mm. Okay. All right. Okay. Because of that small offense, maybe you'll be blocking, you'll pray against me. Yes, when I'm praying for something, you are praying against me. When I'm praying that God will bless me and God will help me, you are praying that God put obstacles in this path. I beg you, please forgive me my sins. I forgive you too. All right? Beautiful. Let's go. Having, having done that declaration, I can move on to preach. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Be thankful as an attitude of your life. There are some people who are just, like I said, culturally, they are taught how to say thank you, but it, they don't mean it. Even when they are saying it, the thing is it's very hard to come from their teeth. It's very like you are pulling things out of them. Amen. So, there are unthankful and ungrateful people who have learned how to say thank you, but are not thankful. Being thankful is a spiritual state. Any person you meet who is very thankful, truthfully thankful, is a spiritual person. Yes, the ungrateful people, like we read from the book of Romans chapter 1, are all unthankful. The wicked people are all unthankful. I'm not repeating that sermon. So it's a state of constant gratefulness, a state of singing, praising, and thanking God. Your life must be full. You, the only time you sing, you sing some of thanksgiving is only in church. The song of praise. The only time you sing this in church. When you're over there, the songs you sing, nobody knows. Nothing coming out of your mouth. Your life must be filled with thanksgiving. If you wake up in the night, it must be thanksgiving. The first thing that comes about, thank you, God. Yeah. I mean, as you're walking. I'm not talking about swearing. So people always kick your stool and say, they'll say, God. No, I'm not talking about I'm talking about genuine thanksgiving. Amen. It's a state of great appreciation. It's important to appreciate all the good things that God has done for you. Your salvation and everything, your life, your health. We are not going to go into that. All that God has done for you this year, you cannot quantify it. Amen. Amen. Remember, it is possible to say thank you without being unthankful. Without being thankful. Amen. Amen. And I guess you've met people like that in your life. Plenty. Yeah. They say thank you, but they don't mean it. Number three, give thanking, giving thanks as a weapon. It's a weapon that releases greatest miracles. Amen. John chapter 6 is where Jesus performed one of the greatest miracles, where he turned, he multiplied bread. Amen. I said, he was there, the people didn't have any food. They took five loaves and two fishes. And he multiplied it, and 4,000 people ate. And at one time, seven loaves, and 5,000 people ate. Amen. But what was the greatest thing that happened? If you had the five loaves and the two fishes, I mean, and the disciples said, what is this? What is this? It's too small. But Jesus knew what he was going to do. He asked the disciples, the 12 of them, he said, ask the people to sit in groups. So they sat in groups. And when they sat in groups, he blessed, the Bible said, he lifted up the loaves and the two fishes and he gave thanks to God, the Father. Then he gave it to Peter and Co. and said, give them to eat. And then they went and they gave the bread and they gave the fishes. As they were breaking the bread, they were breaking, the thing did not finish. And everybody had something to eat. There were 4,000 men there. And the Bible said that, I mean, actually, in, the, in, the, in, the, in those days, when they are counting, they don't count the women and the, the men, and the women and the children. So those were 4,000 men. And there are many more women in the place. Even here, there are many more women than men. So maybe about two times were women. So maybe there were 8,000 8, women. And then the oh. children. So maybe the 4,000 were just the men. Anyway, so a huge crowd. But the boy said, when he gave it, they even were able to gather fragments, 12 baskets. I mean, I can't understand the maths, mathematics thereof. A certain woman I know, I was still a preacher, Catherine Kuma, was, they were asking her something. She said, she said, you journalists, you've come here to come and check things, but make sure you have the correct thing. They said, you don't even know the truth. Then he actually answered, and me too, I don't understand it. It's only God. We don't understand the mathematics, but only God. Amen. But that was the greatest miracle that happened, that they actually wanted to make Jesus king. And then he ran away to go and hide himself because the people wanted to make him king. Of all the miracles, including the one that he raised Lazarus, they didn't want to make him king. But this one, they wanted to make him king. But what brought it about is the thanksgiving. You should be grateful to God for every little thing. The little thing that he gives to you, just be thankful. Don't be, don't be bitter and ungrateful and whiny. It will bring you a devil. 
But if you are grateful and thankful, you have miracles, just like Jesus did. Be grateful for the little thing that you have. Amen. The, 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 you know, you know the, the, whatever he asks you to do, just do it. The water will turn into wine and sight will come to the blind. That's what the miracles are about. Amen. So if instead of being bitter, complaining, and memory, begin to give thanks. Amen. Perhaps you will see the greatest miracles of your life when you begin to give thanks. Lift up your hands even in the midst of difficulties. When you are faced with your Red Sea, everybody is faced with this personal Red Sea and the mountains that are behind, in front of you. Everybody is faced with their personal Jerichos that are standing right tall in front of them. Trust God. Give thanks. And at every time, the Bible said, in, be anxious for nothing. But in everything, in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, amen, with thanksgiving, make your request known unto God, amen. And then the Venice verses, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is how to win. Be a thankful person. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. amen. And we spoke about it that when people are unthankful, the unthankful person, in the thankfulness in the person opens doors unto many wickedness. Like we read about in the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 21. That because they, 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 they were not thankful, they became vain. God gave them vain in their imagination and their foolish hearts were darkened. Demons came to rule in their hearts. Amen. Quickly, I'm moving on. I'll be finishing in a few minutes. Then, one thing that you have to give thanks for, those of you who, who eat without thinking, giving thanks, when you see the food, you just rush into the food. You don't know what may be in the food. Yes. Yes. No, 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 I'm talking to you. Yeah. You just dash into the food. You don't know what is in the food. It could be food allergies. It could be food poison. It could be bacteria. Whatever it is. Listen, just take your moment and sanctify the food. It will take you long. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a practice. Just practice it. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of First Timothy chapter 4, verse 3 to 5, that if it be if the food, for every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused. If it be received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Everything, pray and give thanks for your food. Amen. If you have a new car, before you say, give thanks to the, for it. Amen. If you have a new house, please don't just go and sleep in the house. The only house that you go and sleep in that there's nothing wrong, even that one, there's a problem. It's a new house. Yeah. Listen, I'm just finishing quickly. Anytime you buy a house or you get an apartment, sanctify the place with thanksgiving because there are devils there. You don't know who slept there before you. You don't know who has come to live there before you. One day, I, was, I went to a house, a house warming. I, I, I wish I had not gone. One of my colleagues, and a doctor from India, in a certain country with the word I, begin with the letter I. And when I got there, as soon as I got there, I realized that I should have, I should have come. When I saw that, I saw people wearing red. I saw one of my, they, 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 were, they said, take off your shoes. I thought I was going to my fellow doctor's house. When I got in, they were there. I went up. I saw that thing, the place was coming. So I started, shakataya, ba, 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 ba. Lebo, koshiki, ba, ya, na, na, ma. Batakala, ba, yeke, te, lebo, koshiki, ba. You say, you don't want to pray in tongues. And that's when you need it. Leke, mo, koshiki, ba, 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 ya, na, ba. Later, ba, ya, na, ba. Be, 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 kaya, ba, ba. I was sitting there. Shanda, ba, 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 ba. Lakaya, ba, ba. Shele, mo, koshiki, ba, ba. Hey! Before I was aware, somebody came barefooted, holding some pot. Some a priest from another religion. Hey, they were sitting in a circle. Then they were holding some food. They are communion. Hey, they were, then they would go. They would put they would make their hands like this. They will put some inside. And I was sitting there. He came. I was sitting there. He was coming to me. Shandara bakata ya baba lele mukushiki baba baba makata la be 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 shoke ma ya ne bala mama ni mule kuchiki baba kasha kata ya baba baba. And then he sells his house. Three years after, you go and get it and go and sleep inside. Hmm. The devils that were, in, were called inside the house, they are still in the house. And you are not giving thanks. You are not coming to sack them away. You will see what will happen to you. I don't know why I'm saying this, but I'm saying. 
I remember I had one, friend, one guy, he was a security guard when I was in New York. One day he came to me and said, Doctor, please pray for me. You see, he must also be identified as somebody who is a Christian, wherever you are. He knew who to come to. And when he came, he asked me to give him medication. He said, I need prayers. He didn't ask me to give him IV fluids. He said, I need prayers. He said, every time I go to sleep, some hands touch me. Yeah, so he has, he has rented his house where he's supposed to go and rest after work. He comes tonight. But when he goes in the morning and lies down, then they start touching him. Yeah, so immediately he baths and leaves the house. He will go and sleep in the park all day. And when he's supposed to come to work at 6 p.m., he will go home and go and change in his things and come. Who is the boss? Some demons have occupied the house. Yeah. Then I remember one girl who was with us in New York. She had rented an apartment. Her apartment, um, when she gets house, <laughs> the, the, the voices start. See, Auntie Mary, Mary, your voice is the Holy Spirit talking. There are many voices. They hear, she hears a voice say, we've been here long. We've been, they say, voice say, we've been here for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, we've been here for a long time. When she enters the apartment, which she's paying, a male voice. Then I told her, this time, I'm praying for you. When you go home, when you get inside, make a declaration. Say, I am a child of God. I'm a child of the king. I've been redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. And then declare that I have power over every devil. And then say to that devil that I am the one paying the, the room, the, 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 the rent, and paying the utilities. This is my apartment. You get out of here. Yeah, I told him, I go and do it. just went and say, I'm the boss. You get out of here. So you just go and buy, get, get your apartment. You even tell your pastor. You just go and just, hey. You don't know whether they have, they have killed somebody in that place before. You don't know whether they have, there's, there's a quarreling spirit. You are a married couple. You are entering that place. You don't know whether the people were there, they've been divorced. You don't know whether they've been quarreling. You know whether somebody has been beating your wife there. Someone has killed somebody there before. And you just go and just, mm. hey, everything with Thanksgiving. You go into a hotel room. Oh, a hotel room. <laughs> a hotel room. Yeah. Man, the only hotel room that you can go to in Las Vegas right now, that if that you may say something, not even that one has to be something there, is to go to Fontainebleau, to go to the 13th floor. Room number one, 703, or 30, 1303, whatever it is, 14th floor. Even that one, you don't know they've been there already. So every time you have something, give thanks. When you have food, give thanks. You don't know what is in the food. Sanctified. When you sit on the plane, san- give thanks. Oh, Lord, I'm so thankful that I can buy a plane ticket. Yeah. But just go, ooh, see 17, 17E. And then take a selfie. Eh? You are saying, hmm. I don't know why I'm saying these things. I'll finish in a few minutes. But, but, but I'm, I'm telling you, it is true. Hey, one day somebody told me something, talking about plane. Said a devil followed the person there. I won't mention it, just in case you know, on the plane. I mean, a, a devil that had been harassing the person on the ground. Devils that go and have sex with people. Hey, Father, I pray that if there's anybody in this, my church, who is harassed by demons at night, who try to come and have sex with them. Today is the last day. I break every stronghold and every power in the name of Jesus. And the person told me that the, the, the devil wanted to come and have sex on the plane. He's not even, even shy. He hasn't paid the FA. The plane ticket you think you are sitting on, somebody has sat there before. Don't know who it was. Yeah, everywhere you go. Yeah. So always be thankful. It's a weapon. Yes, it's a weapon that helps you. Amen. Are, are you in church with me? I'm finishing in a few minutes. I hope, I hope I'm going to help you. Amen. Yes. Yes. Because when you do that, you are actually being delivered. God will use that power as a weapon to deliver you from evils. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody say amen. I'm finishing in a few minutes. I told you. Hallelujah. Mm. 
giving thanks is a key to being filled with the Holy Spirit and the anointing. You need God. A thankful heart will attract God. Are you there with me? Amen. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 18 to 21 says, And be not drunk with wine, wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourself in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, and giving thanks always for all things. Not for some things, all things. Precious. You got me? Oh, yes. Trinity, is it working? Beautiful. Always. Even when your mother scolds you for your bad things you did. Say, thank you, mama, for, for scolding me. I deserve to be scolded. Rose, don't be scolding my children too many times. But if she scolds you, it's for your good. Say, Lord, thank you for the scolding. I'm being corrected. Because if I'm not corrected, I'm a bastard. So thank you for the correction, Lord. I love it. Amen. Are you, are you in church with me? Yeah. So you have to give thanks to God, and it's going to help you. And it will attract the Holy Spirit. So if you are not thankful, that's why you don't know how to sing songs of praise. Like I say, if you are not, apart from church, you can't worship God. Even when you come to church and we say worship God, you can't worship God. How much more when you're alone? No, 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 no. You must have the culture. You must intentionally learn how to worship. Oh, yes, you must intentionally learn how to sing some worship songs and some praise songs and thanks. You should let those who, when you were going to the, the, the disco, weren't you learning the songs? I don't even know the songs that are there now. I never knew the songs that were there. I don't know what the songs are there now. But you learned the songs. I remember when we were growing. Ah, that's what I remember. But I don't know how to sing the song. Killing me softly with the fingers. What's the song? Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Kill me softly with this song. With this song. Killing me softly with this song. Hey, where's Michael? Is Michael here? Michael didn't come to church. Michael, are you here? Where is he? Come, come, come. We have to finish church. Michael went to my school. I know he knows these songs. Where is he? Michael, come. Michael, come, come, come up. Come, come, come. Up. Run, run. You think I don't know? Look, we have to close church. Hurry up. We are wasting our time. No, it's not good to sing. You remember Jazz Night in Kwabuchi? Microphone. You remember Jazz Night in Kwabuchi? Yes, please. He went to my school, so I can. I can. Don't. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Perez. Eh? Perez. Perez, you two come here. I have to finish my chair service. Look, I have to finish. Perez, come here. I didn't even see him. Where is he? Perez, come, come, come. Listen, we have to close church. Church is finishing. Give to my wife. Come. This one I can talk about because they went to my school. Get the microphone. But you, I called you. Why are you pointing to him? He's, some, he's a very bad person. No, why do, why do you call him? Okay, wait, 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 wait. So, hold the microphone. We have to finish. Did you learn some of those songs? The, the jazz nice songs? Okay, okay. He says it's a good one. Yeah, it was killing me softly. Nice song. Uh, killing me softly. Sing it for us. Da 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 Strumming my pain with his finger, <laughs> singing my life with his words. But I was Killing also me softly out. with his song. You are going where? I didn't stay that long, so I want to ask you. Mm. 
Perez, he says you were his junior. Were you in the same house? No, I was in Laka Shrine. Bad boy. Which house were you in? Bad boy. I was in a good boy house. Was he a good boy? No, he didn't know me. He was, I think, uh, he was one year behind me. He was one, only one year behind you? What was your nickname? What was your nickname? Do you know his nickname? What was your nickname? I have several, but I What? Know. I have several of them. Okay, tell us one. The one was, um, was romantic. Eh? Romantic. Ah! Ah! Where, where's the wife? Where's the wife? Where's the wife? Where's the wife? Listen, listen, listen. I didn't mean to stay in church for a long time. I went to close church today. You are spoiling my church service. Romantic and what else? Let, I have to finish, I have to finish church. Romantic and what's the other one? Uh, che boy. Eh? Che boy. Che boy. Hey! What che boy means? Um, it's one of my math teacher. Okay. Okay. But what, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? So that's all I can. Hmm. You are why you pointing to him? <laughs> Where is he pointing to you? Okay, please. Okay, first. So, can you sing us a worship song? After you finish singing, strum me my pain with his fingers. Okay, your SU song. You say you went to SU. Sing SU song for us. For all the sins. No, 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 no. They are trying to cheat you. That was our school anthem. That's not a worship song. Sing. It doesn't pass. Martha, your husband is in trouble. Okay, he said he can sing, right? So sing once one SU song for us. And I know the SU songs. I was there. <laughs> Please. It's been a while. Go and sit down. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Don't mind this your senior boy. <laughs> Then we have to finish everything. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for bringing this emphasizing boys. The romantic man. I, 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 I'll ask you questions later, wife, whether he's romantic. I, he has bent his romanticism away. Okay, quickly, we're finishing. So, I want you to learn intentionally how to worship God. Amen. You can just be there in your house and just start. I'm broken, praise belongs to you. All oh, my praise belongs to you. Lord, take this life and let it become your throne. A broken praise be your Amen. So you have to do it intentionally. And with that, it's a weapon. Amen. Finishing quick. Your flourishing and your abounding is dependent on your level of thanksgiving. Colossians chapter 2 verse 7 says that rooted and built up in him and established in the faith as he have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. That's how to go very well. Amen. Then, you, once you give thanks, you get the presence of God. Psalm 95 verse 2 says, let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with praise. Amen. The Bible said, God inhabits the praise of his people and the thanksgiving. As you do that, God will be attracted to you. God will come into your presence. Amen. Amen. Enter into his courts with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. Psalm 100 verse 4. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And then lastly, thank God in everything. In everything, give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 18. Amen. So, this Christmas, we are thankful. And then throughout into the new year, we are entering with thanksgiving. Amen. Everything means everything. And you know, you have to give God thanks. Don't be ones who pay the lip service. When they, oh, I'm so grateful for your life. But behind you, you be biting the person. No. Everywhere you are thankful. You are thankful. Be thankful. Be thankful. 
And even when people have done bad things to you, be still thankful. See something, you know, see something good in people. People are not evil. Like you see somebody tell like impersonation of evil. That this person is an evil person. There's always something good. And remember, a lot of times, when people have done you good, 100 good, when they do you one bad, sometimes the one neutralizes everything. May, may you not be an unthankful person, an ungrateful person. May you be a thankful person in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Please rise up, and I want you to rise up and just begin to praise God. Amen. And like I said, the greatest miracle that occurred, one of the greatest miracles that occurred in the life of Jesus was that day when he gave thanks and broke the bread. And another thankful day was when he rose Lazarus from the grave. He was thankful because he lifted up his eyes and prayed to God before he declared Lazarus come out of the grave. I want you to be a thankful person. Just thank him for a moment as we close service. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. We give you praise. Thank you, Lord. We, give we give you, you glory Lord. and we give you worship. We give you honor thank you, Lord. and we give you adoration you, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. May your name be praised. Yes, May your name be praised. May your name be praised. I thank you for the good, the bad, and the ugly. I thank you for everything that you've done for me. I'm grateful to you. The things that don't look sweet, the things that bring bad memories. Oh, yes. I still say thank you. I still say thank you. I still say thank you. I still say thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Give him praise and give him thanks. Give him praise and give him thanks. Give him praise and give him thanks. He has been good to you. He has been cared. He has been kind to you. He is still good to you. God is good. God is merciful. We give you thanks. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise on broken. Praise on ending. Be yours. Be yours forevermore. Praise on ending. Please move with me. Ending. Be yours. Be yours forevermore. Oh, be yours. Be yours forevermore. Unbroken praise. Be yours. God forever. Oh, my praise. Be yours. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And if you are in this room on this Christmas Eve and you don't know Jesus as Lord and personal Savior, he wants you to come to know him because God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He wants you to make it to heaven. It's appointed unto men once to die and after that judgment. And when you stand before God, you're going to stand alone. And it is serious business. Make peace with God today. And as you, if you want to make peace with God, I want to give you a chance now.
with every head bowed down, every eye closed. You can lift up your hand and we'll pray with you. God is here in the house and God is here to receive you. You want Jesus in your life. You want peace in your life. Just lift your hand up with every head bowed down, every eye closed and we'll say a prayer. Hallelujah. Anybody like that in the house? Every head bowed down, every eye closed. Just lift up your hand. Just lift up your hand to God most high. He's here with us now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now I want to say, Lord Jesus Christ, have mercy on me. Forgive me my sins. Wash me in your blood. Cleanse me from every unrighteousness. Take my name from the devil's book and put my name in the Lamb's book of life. I choose Jesus. I choose life. Holy Spirit, fill me. Seal me until the day of redemption. I say, Satan, I don't belong to you. I'm not your friend, and I'll not walk your way. I say, Lord Jesus, I love you. I love you. I love you. Amen. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord and be seated. Let's have communion quickly. Where's the communion? Let's come. Brothers and sisters. Brothers, sisters, we are young and our lives have just begun in the spirit we Another verse there. Come together to the Lord who has promised our reward, happiness and hundredfold, and will live forever. Oh, sons of God. People say that, why do we do this often? Because Jesus said, we should eat the bread and drink the wine. He said, as often as you eat this bread, which is his body, and drink the wine, which is his blood. He said, you do it in remembrance of him. Because he said, I will not eat of the bread anymore. The, 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 I will not drink of the fruit of the vine anymore until I drink that new in my father's kingdom. So today we come for this spiritual moment. We come to drink and to eat the body of Jesus and the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let us flow with the, the church, flow church. Amen. As we receive the Father, power. thank you for the body of Jesus. We enjoy this bread together. Amen. As we partake of your great love. Who are you, Lord? Where are you? You are, are so you? great. Mm. Everything was made by you. Mm. Without you was nothing made that was made. We believe in you. And we, we believe, believe in your you. power comes into our lives Amen. today. The body of Jesus. The body of Jesus. Every mistake is washed away by the blood. Everyone watching is coming into the light. And through the blood of Jesus, your mistakes are forgotten. 
the blood of Jesus. Now, listen. Many sins are like seeds. You planted a tree and it's grown. What you shall do with the tree that you planted? God has forgiven you for planting that seed. But the tree that you planted has grown. And it's staring at you. Mercy. Lift your hand. The Lord give you wisdom. Yes, Lord. To remove every planting oh, yes. that has been planted. And everything seed that has been sown that has risen up to mock you in the name of Jesus. The Lord fill you with his grace and his wisdom that you may be perfect before him. In the name of Jesus. God bless you to work for meat that does not perish forever. The Lord encourage you. The Lord strengthen you. In the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. Thank you for all the children all over the world. Multiply them greatly. Let them believe what they must believe in that they may do the works of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Live long and prosper and flourish as you serve Jesus every day of your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Merry Christmas, everybody. Send to your neighbor and wish them Merry Christmas. Amen. All right. Thank you so much, Reverend, for preaching to us this morning. Put your hands together for the Lord. We will be full of thanksgiving. Amen. As the year ends and we enter 2024, let us remember to be full of thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. I think we should welcome the first time as first, right? Who is here for the first time, please? If if this is your first time of being this hour beautiful sanctuary with us please rise to your feet those around them please welcome them please welcome them please welcome them Am I saying this your first time yourself? It's not your first time? Okay. All right. So you're welcome to American Missionary Church, Las Vegas. Amen. And uh, we're happy that you're here today. If you live in Las Vegas or in the surrounding areas and you do not have a home church, you are welcome to join us and if you are visiting from out of town you are also very welcome amen amen hallelujah so after church uh, we're going to meet all of you on our right hand side and we will welcome you amen so mr Okay, so we also have our family from Canada, right? Wave at me if you are from Canada. All right. Hallelujah. All right, so you are all welcome. Please have a seat after church. 
We'll meet you right here, and the Reverend would welcome you. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. So we're going to take our offerings and our tithes. Amen. Quickly, and then we shall be closing. Please, we are staying around to have lunch together. And then you can go home and be with your family. Amen. So make room for some extra time to stay and wine and dine with us. This is our Christmas luncheon. And then um, we shall be leaving. Amen. We, it's Sunday also, so we want to take our tights as well. Can I have the tights basket, please? the best you deserve 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 the best please if you're giving your second offering you can um, give it online or you can lift your hand and the basket can be brought to you if you need an envelope Let's do it quickly. Let's do it quickly. You deserve the best. You deserve the best. You deserve the best. Please come forward if you have your tithe. You Let's give our tithe to the Lord this morning. You deserve the best. You deserve the best. Let's give our tithe to the Lord this morning. You deserve the best. You deserve the best. You deserve the best. Please lift your tithe up to the Lord. Father, behold your children. We have brought our tithes to your house. You said we should bring it to your house and let there be meat in your house. And you said that you rebuke the devourer for our sakes. You said that you open the windows of heaven. May you open the windows you of heaven according to your word. You May you rebuke every devourer according to your word. May you receive it, Lord. Let it be acceptable to you. And may you open the windows of heaven. May you receive it and may you rebuke every devourer in the name of Jesus. Let it be acceptable to you, Lord. Receive it. Let the windows of heaven be open over his life in the name of Jesus. Open the windows the of heaven. Let her not have enough room to contain the, the blessing. In Jesus' name. The best. The best. May you receive it, Lord. Let it be acceptable you to you. And may you open the windows you of heaven. Rebuke the every devourer for his sake. According to your word. You in Jesus' name. Amen. Best. Open you heavens over your life best. in Jesus' you name. Open heavens over your life you in the name of Jesus. Rebuke every devourer. Open heavens in the you name of Jesus. Open heavens best. over your life you in the name of Jesus. Open heavens you over your life in the name of Jesus. Open heavens over your life in the name of Jesus. Open heavens. Rebuke every devourer, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open heavens over your your life. Open heavens over your life. Open heavens over your life. Father, may it be acceptable to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Any birthday between Monday and today? Anybody had a birthday? Oh, okay. Happy birthday to you. To Jesus be true. God's mercies and blessings rain down upon you. Happy birthday to you. To Jesus be true. God's mercies and blessings rain down upon you. God's mercies and blessings rain. Towards her and pray for her. 
Lord, I pray that you bless your daughter. Let it be well with her. Receive grace and receive mercy now in the name of Jesus. May the Lord be with you. And may the hand of God be over you. Be blessed. Amen. 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 God's mercies and blessings rain down upon you. Hip, hip, hip. Hip, hip, hip. All right. Um, announcements. No Basenta meetings this week. Some of you are like, yippee. <laughs> you are free. I will not be called this week. <laughs> so, and then there's no flow. Daddy says no flow this week. And uh, no Basenta meeting. Spend time with your family and friends. Take your family out. Amen. There's a lot of things to do. We are very privileged to be living in a place where people save money every year just to come in. And we live here. Please take your family out. Amen. There are lights to see. There are experiences to have. There's light on the race corp. There's light at M Casino. There's light on Summerlin downtown. And then there's lights. Pardon? There's a light at the chocolate factory, Henderson. So please take your children, your wife, your children, take your friend. I mean, hook up with a few people and say, let's go see some lights or let's go do some experience. Amen. My husband took us to the sphere. The sphere experience. Auntie Naomi, you haven't seen anything like that. Mr. Prince, please take my sister to the sphere. I beg you. It's a ma different experience altogether. Amen. Hallelujah. A nice experience, Frankie. You've worked, uh, please take them to the sphere. Huh? Let's see the money every day. You say you are working, amen. amen. Hallelujah! <laughs> and Perez, take your family to the sphere. He's gone already, Tahiti village, and everywhere. We know you, we know you. Where is he? Where's Perez? <laughs> amen. And the romantic man, where are you? Take your wife somewhere. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. Oh, I told him already. Uncle Francis, please take your family. And uh, I told you already. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. I think we are done, right? All right. So good to some of you. We haven't seen you for a long time. Good to see you. Fidelia, good to see you. This is Fidelia who was with us. This is Amy's younger sister am i right okay so this is stand up stand up this is fidelia she comes right after amy she men so she was with us here and she ran away to indiana we are waiting for her you can't come and be singing christmas and going back so listen carefully amen hallelujah amen and so if there's somebody we haven't seen for a long time please greet them say hi all right and let them feel welcome. All right, let's rise up. We're going to close, and then we're going to put ourselves together. P. Josh is in town. From Anakazo Bible and Ministry Training Center. All right. Michael Asafwaje is in town. From UNR. Gabi Asafwaje is in town. From Maryland. Priscilla Bamfra is in town from New Jersey. I'm in town. I'm in town. Reverend Sir is also in town. Okay, clap for Reverend. <laughs> who, who are did I leave? Her? Have I left anybody? Anybody coming from somewhere? Oh, a man, a man, a man, a man from Miami. A man is coming from Miami. And Canadians, we are meeting you after church. Anybody else? Okay, Dr. Martha, where are you from these days? You, Reno? Where are you these days, Reno? All right, Dr. Martha from Reno. And Perez from Las Vegas. We haven't seen you for a long time, Perez. <laughs> Amen.
All right, so you are all welcome. Can we sing one nice Christmas song? And then we, tomorrow morning, there's church at 9 a.m. Is it 9 or 10? 10, yeah. Everyone let us sleep small. 10 a.m. is better. So we'll meet at 10. Rose, I'll see you at 10 a.m. tomorrow. 10, because of you, instead of now, we've changed you to 10. Rose, so make sure you are here. All right? Today at the luncheon, we are going to crown the best dressed lady and the best dressed gentleman. Amen. At the, at the lunch today. Amen. And so Monday, there's church. No meetings the rest of the week. And then next, next Sunday is 31st of December. Right? New Year's Eve. So next Sunday, Perez, are you listening to me? I need you here. So Sunday, 31st, we'll be here at 10 a.m. Then we'll be here at 10 p.m. All right? 10 p.m. to enter the new year. On, so by the 1st of January, we want to be in the house of God. Is that a good thing? Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Please give us a nice Christmas. So let's wish ourselves Christmas. Merry Christmas. Either Feliz Navidad or something. All right. Please Feliz wish somebody Navidad. Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Hold the neighbor and sing to them. Sing to somebody. Wish somebody Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Wish somebody Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Wish somebody Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas. Pero año y felicidad. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. neighbor hold one neighbor we are going to share the grace we are going to share the grace please hold one neighbor's hand we are going to share the grace are you holding one neighbor let's close properly please let's close properly please Shall we hold one neighbor's hand, please? Can we close the service, please? share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion, the fellowship, the contribution, and the participation of the Holy Ghost and the 200 children, which include all the important people in my life, a series of victories, cancellation of curses, deaths and deaths, and a thankful heart be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Amen.